Okay, here we are talking with the 911 system going down in Massachusetts. Yeah, this is horrible. If people need help, if they're sick, or uh, whatever happens, medical emergency, they can't get they can't get the services. So I'm trying to figure out how this can even happen in this day and age. With all the technology we have. Well, and I'm going to tell you why. We switched everything to digital. How much of a moron does the world have to be to figure out that digital doesn't always work great for everything? Um, I don't know quite why we we're forced to use a digital telephone now. I, we got rid of our phones. We're all mobile phone kind of people now. But because um, it's a waste of money to have two phones, a cell phone and a, and a regular phone. I can tell you this. It, it, it disgusts me before when I used to pick up my phone and I'd have to hear static and all kinds of stuff because the modem was busted. It always used to happen. Every modem that Cox would bring over here would sound like shit. You'd go on the phone, you hear crackling sometimes or noise in the background like like it's a, you know, like a static noise kind of. And I used to hear that all the time because Cox didn't know what they were doing. And um, I, I gotta tell you that, th th I think this is the problem for why we're losing all our, our, our services now. Because everything digitally is being forced. See, someone else just said it. Lost power. Did anyone else lose power? This is in the Cranston area. That's two people that said it now on Neighborhood Alert. Nine, Rhode Island's 911 service is not impacted by the, the outage in Massachusetts. Still, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's They lost it, and, and, you know, it shouldn't have happened at all. You know, people just said it, you know, people have, uh, have pets. And if you have a pet and it's 90 degrees in your house, that's a big no-no. You have to take your pet somewhere else. You have to get in your car and bring them to a hotel or something because you can't have your pet in a 90-degree environment. And, um... You now, you, no one ever has any real idea when they're going to get their power back. I mean, I remember you there's a, um, You can go on the website. I don't even think it's called National Grid anymore. It's called something else. Uh, you go on their website, they give you estimated time. But sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Last time it fixed it just before the estimated time. Sometimes it goes over by an hour or two. It's just awful. I, I wish we could just pick up the telephones and have them work. Without needing, a, you know, a plug-in on the plug-in or a line or whatever. So if somebody's 90 years old, they lose power and they don't have a cell phone, and they're having a heart attack, well, they're gonna most likely they're gonna they could die or pass away inside their house, whatever you want to call it, and nobody will know for a long time. That's horrible. There's no reason for 911 to go down, and they can investigate it all they want doesn't matter. Investigate it all you want because guess what? It, it already happened and you didn't prevent it. I can't believe that something like this happens nowadays still. And the fact that the emergency alert went to one of the phone cell phones in my house but not mine. I didn't get the alert. I got it on channel 10 and 12 but I did not get the main alert. Alerts are annoying too. What I want to know is why did they send an emergency alert to um a Massachusetts um, to a Rhode Island number if it has nothing to do with Rhode Island whatsoever. It's an outage that's in Massachusetts. It doesn't make any sense to me. I guess if someone lives in Massachusetts, like, and they're, um, and they, uh, are, are they work in Massachusetts and they were, um, whatever, you know what I mean. They work in Rhode Island and live in Massachusetts, I meant that. This is horrible. Very, very horrible thing. I just want people to know that um, I don't think we, sh we should have kept stuck with the old analog or whatever it's called system. I think it was better. I don't remember hearing any static when I used the phone. Um, let's see, when was the first time we got a modem? I don't even remember. Let's just say 2005. I don't remember hearing any static in the phone in 2005. It was so easy to make a phone call. You just picked up the phone and that was it. You didn't have to worry about some modem in your basement that it was properly connected or any bullshit like that with coaxial cables and stuff. So basically, um, that's that. And I don't know, I hope those people get their power back in Massachusetts uh, at a time. Um, two people lost power in, uh, in um, Cranston on this thing. Probably the hundreds of people, if not thousands, lost it because um, not everyone goes on the app.
All right. Bye-bye.